Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. My name is Helios. Today, some red flags right from the start that will help you to disqualify a woman instantly. Let's play the clip. I'm 31. What do you want to talk to me about? Um, you know, I'm a boss woman. I just was out at my booth, you know, doing my pop-up shop today. And I went to college and I believe that I can have a family one day. I believe okay. that... How many kids you got? No kids. Okay. You believe you're going to have a family? Okay. Okay. We're going to, we're going to stop it there. I'm 31. Uh-oh. I'm a boss woman. Double uh-oh. I believe I can have a family one day. Okay, sure. Possible. I went to college. Okay. But here's what I want to say. And it's very important. Women need to consolidate on their youth and beauty to snag a man when they're young. 19 to 23 is absolutely best. Afterwards, it gets harder and harder as time goes on. By the time they're 31, the chance of finding an actual good man that they, their hypergamy will be happy with is about 25%, maybe even less, one in four, which is very unlikely. But I want to point something else out. For those of you on the podcast, this is especially... It's, I'm going to describe her face because... These are things to look out for in women that will help you to disqualify them, okay? Look at her expression. She has this air of looking down on people. And you can just tell. She has this haughty air. It's an arrogance that you can feel without even having to analyze what she's saying. You can see it on her face. She feels that she's better than most men. And the truth is that at her age and her looks, she's not. She's past her prime. But more importantly, she's not feminine because she herself said that she's a boss woman. And she's not submissive because by her own admission, she's a boss woman. And sure, she's, she's probably fit. Uh, she looks she looks fit in the picture, so that's good. It's also unlikely for her to be loyal at her age. At 31, she's probably been with many, many partners. And each new partner that a girl is with reduces her ability to pair bond with every future partner. It also increases the uh, decreases the likelihood that she'll be happy in the future because of what I like to call the amalgam. Every new man a girl is with, the best qualities of all the previous men fuse together and every new man has to beat that amalgam, that mixture of men. As more men are added to the group, as more men are added to the amalgam, it becomes harder and harder for a woman to actually be able to pair bond because the new man cannot beat her hypergamous mixture of all the previous partners she's been with. And this is yet another reason why women should be young when they get into serious relationships and marriages, so that they prevent this problem. So this girl here has already started herself off very, very poorly. She's on the back foot, and it's very unlikely at the age of 31 for her to ever find happiness. At least not something that she will be happy with because of her ruined ability to pair bond. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Enjoying my content? Check out my blog at realheliosblog.com. On YouTube, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Make sure you turn on notifications. You can find my YouTube channel at bit.ly slash heliosyoutube. Follow me on Spotify as well at bit.ly slash Helios Podcast. If you'd like to support me, buy my books at bit.ly slash Helios Books. You can also donate at bit.ly slash Helios Donations. And finally, you can follow me on Patreon at the Helios blog for exclusive content. Thank you so much for all the support.